Uh, okay, sweet. Okay, so I'm going to show how to use the Verilog XL simulator and a sim version. Uh, this is uh, Lab 2, Part 1 uh, for ECE, or EEC 119. This is on page 3. So I've already created my uh, detector right here, and I've already, this is the Verilog code. So um, now what I need to do is, uh, and I've already created the schematic for my test bench. Um, and what you'll notice is I put detector here and I put three input pins and one output pin. And now what I have to do is I need to go launch simulation uh, Verilog Excel. So here you just press OK. Now I need to go to Simulation, Verilog, and then I need to go to Edit, uh, and you press OK. Uh, now I already, I already created this file from scratch. Usually it'll start with just initial begin and the input pins right here and have an end. Uh, there will be example code up online. Uh, so I will close this. Um, let's see. It's very long. And view file. Okay. Press OK. Okay. Now what I need to do is uh, uh, press this button here. I need to start interactive. Say no. And now what I need to do is I need to go to simulation. Continue and give it a few seconds. So it's simulated right here. Now, if I go debug utilities view waveform, now this is where it brings up the simulation vision. So now what I need to go is file uh, open database. So uh, ignore the, I'm using my 118 folder to do, do all this stuff that I have. So go to detector test bench. Well, basically you'll see something that says dot run one. And then uh, run object, uh, simulation directory, keep going and open this file. We're looking for a dot TRN file. And click, oh, uh, expand test, click on top. And then what you'll do is just click on these guys, and then we can zoom in over here. I'm not very good with this uh, right now, but uh, this is my output right here. So it is going high a few times. Uh, as far as if it's working or not, I'm not 100% sure. I have to go and look at it more closely. But this is how you use the uh, Verilog XL simulator and uh, SimVision. Um,